G'day guys, it's TDX Raven here bringing you another video for Big Raven Tech. This one here is going to be on my brand new SSD, of course, they're Force 3 60 gigabyte. Just, um, I got this because my OCZ drive, when I got that for my birthday a couple months ago, it died after about 2 3 hours of use for no apparent reason. So I got another one on warranty, and that was dead on arrival. So I told him to give me money so I could buy a different one. Sorry about the shaky camera. My really good cameraman's down back moved back away. So hopefully in a few months he'll be back up so we can not have this terribleness. Anyway, just having a look around the box. On the front of the box, as you can see it just pretty much a force three. But that there's SATA 36 gig per second, that's just telling you what interface. 60 gigs, three SATA 3 um, 2.5 inch solid state drive on the sides it says very much the same thing and on the back it says in multiple languages just a little bit of stuff about how you can set up your solid state drive to respond a bit faster if we open it up a bit rough but that's okay in this compartment here we have the solid state drive itself it is actually really very nice looking with the really black sort of brushed finish that a lot of SSDs have to be honest Force 3 in blue I and mean, a bit of white around the back is just pure black with the um, SATA 6 interface and the SATA power or SATA 6 gig thing and what other, other things in the box there is one other thing Sorry, this is going to be a bit more difficult to get in, it's caught on something. And that is, of course, a 2.5 inch bay to 3.5 inch. I'll probably actually use that because if I use the ones that came with my case just there, um, it, you can't plug in the cables if there's a hard drive beneath it. So hopefully I can with this. And I'm going to go for a second here. Again, sorry about the camera work. And I'm going to see how fast it goes okay so here's the crystal disk mask scores for the Corsair hard drive sorry about the wonky camera again but I'm not very good at this um, if you look at the two top scores for the sequential and 512k random it's 211.7 88.8 205.2 71.2 and the old scores f for those four things were um, on the hard drive it only got 52 for uh, sequential read and 48 for sequential write 48.7 I mean um, and then for the random it only got 22 and 23 so as you can see it's immensely faster than a hard drive load times is pretty much instant I am pretty amazed with how good this performs Again, with the old Intel drive, it's that one there got 172.4 read sequential and 24 write sequential, which is slower than the hard drive, right? And it also got, um, for random, it got 136.2 and 25 megabytes per second. That's read then, right? And my, older, my other OCZ drive, which is supposedly just like 10 megabytes per second slower than this one, it um, got 156 read and 73 write, as well as 153 um, random and 73 write. So this here is quite a considerable amount faster. The write times are very similar though. That's um, just going to be based around the RAID controller, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, but the rated speeds of the Corsair was supposed to be 550 megabytes read, 490 megabytes write, and it's also got 80k IOPS with 4k aligned. So you're never going to get numbers like that anyway. That's just um, it's like a hard drive speed. They say oh it will do 100 megabytes a second when obviously no not 100 yeah yeah probably about 100 megabytes a second when obviously mine only does half that. And yeah so thanks for watching guys bye bye.